Hi, good day everyone. This is Tina Makova. Today we are going to look at the substance abuse in South African youth. It's so disappointing that most of the parents here in South Africa has lost their hopes in their future leaders. The drugs range from cocaine, mandrax, you name it, down to the wonga, which is the cheapest drug. Parents have lost hope and confidence. This has increased crime rate, rape, and also divided most of the families. It also happens in big cities because of the influx, like Joburg, Durban, and Cape Town. Today we are going to hear, to listen to the, what the public has to say about it. Uh, my name is... Would you please uh, just introduce yourself, briefly introduce yourself. Um, I'm Mr. Privilege in Como and doing electronic engineering at Howard College, UKZN. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think you know that in South Africa, like, youth is more on drugs. What's your take on that? Yeah, yeah, I do understand that uh, yeah, the youth are taking drugs each and every day. Okay, and they can... As you are saying, you do have the, some views on drugs and youth. And what do you think may be the solution on drugs and youth? Uh, solutions on drugs maybe at any young, young uh, age to people taking drugs. Okay, thank you very much. We have to stop there. Thank you. Okay, I'm Beatrice. Can you please brief introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Winnie. I'm from, originally from Polokwane and I'm studying here in Durban. Okay. Yeah. What is your view on drug abuse, especially in youth in South Africa? I um, think it's, it's, really, it's a serious uh, challenge that really needs to be addressed. Uh, I think it's, it's really taking away peop uh, people's, like, young people can't... Uh, really achieve their goals and really be productive in South Africa because of drug abuse. It's, it's like a serious drawback. Okay. And uh, what do you think, what is, how youth end up of taking drugs? Sorry? What do you think, what leads youth to taking drugs? I think uh, it starts from it's different uh, reasons. Peer pressure, sometimes when uh, young people go to clubs and the, the, they feel like they need to uh, for sake of entertainment and stuff, and then it starts from there. You take a little for the party, and then you you start getting addicted, and then you end up being addicted. Yeah, yeah some people it's just because of problems. Yeah. And for you, what do you think can be the solution for that drug abuse? Um, I think uh, there should be more interventions should be made. The community needs to play their role more, and uh, governments need to be involved more. People need to. There needs to be a sense of community in trying to uh, overcome it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, would you please introduce yourself? Um, my name is Paminas. Yes, and I'm a student in, in UKZN University. Yeah, I'm studying in the Faculty of Humanities. Thank you. Uh, in South Africa, we are, are witnessing a huge problem problem of uh, youth and the drug. What, what, what is your take on it? Um, <coughs> according to my own uh, my own uh, sources, and according to what I have seen from the youth, one of this uh, the major contributing factor could be uh, unemployment that is causing uh, the youth to not have anything to do so they finally resort to drugs yeah so in, in, in addition to unemployment is, is there any other reasons why people are taking I mean the youth uh, are taking drugs yeah there is also another uh, reason there another factor could be peer pressure where the where, where some of them uh, those who see it like a good idea or always make others also use it because because of peer pressure if you want to look cool they say you have, if you want to join our group you have to use the drugs so that you can become a part of our group oh thank you thank you very much for your for your time and uh, giving these reasons uh, how sh how should we as a community as a collective deal with drug related issues i think uh, what needs to be done is uh, we need to have uh, we need to educate the youth 
we need to have community based uh, organizations that are teaching the youths the effects and the um, and the hazards that the drugs can cause to their lives and to their health as well thank you thank you sir as you heard south africa most of the challenges are being brought by peer pressure unemployment and all the stuff people are it's sort of like people are starving because of the unemployment so that's why they like they're distressing on whatever the substance they can reach thank you very much for watching us